Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Several breaking stories that I need to cover with you, and I'll just do this in short as of right now. The Ayatollah Ali Khomeini has passed away. Now, in other articles that came out just a few hours ago, unconfirmed reports, Ayatollah Ali Khomeini is dead. Uh, this here being on the JewishPress.com. Uh, we did get a response from uh, the Middle East there that uh, is far more reliable than most, said Saeed Ali Khamenei has passed away. The Expediency Council, which is the body responsible for electing Iran's spiritual leader, has been called. Their Supreme Council is having a meeting right now and have called the rest of them to get ready. I don't know because of COVID they are going to do the meeting in person or in the form of a webinar, but we're waiting to see uh, what's going to come out of this but it is confirmed Al, uh, Saeed Ali Khomeini has died and the reason for why he was trying to put his son in power, which we were told was not the norm for Iran, but the Khomeini had authorized his son as his wishes to take, uh, to take, take control of Iran and it's just a matter of whether or not that will actually take place or not. We'll have to wait to see. Other news that is going on as well. We're trying to get a confirmation on this. Sputnik has put out this report here. Urgent power will transfer peacefully from Trump to Biden, White House advisor Kudlow says. Have, has Trump given up on his bid for the, uh, his, uh, uh, for, due to all the fraud that was in the election or not? I'm waiting to hear back also from another advisor of the president to see if that is actually true or not. Uh, I know that his second advisor that I knew about or that, uh, that I have contacts with there, had said to me that he thought that the power would transfer over to Biden, but there were others that were saying that it wasn't going to happen, that Trump would remain in power. So we're still waiting to see how will that play out. Also, we have Pentagon source, too, that we could check in with that could also give us some clue as to whether or not that's going to happen or not. Don't know as of yet, but I will update you as soon as I possibly can. And then, of course, we reported to you a couple of days ago, former head of Israel's space division, that's Chaim Ished. Uh, their name's not mentioned at the beginning of the title. Aliens are real. Trump was on the verge of confirming that this is so. Well, I also got another message in. I uh, sent this information uh, over to a friend in the Pentagon that I knew that knew more about this type of information uh, even than what uh, the uh, former uh, head of the Israel Space Division was speaking about. And as he sent the message to me today, he said, this aliens are not here for a goodwill mission, but they're going to appear as if they're Samaritans, bringing gifts and things like this. But in, res in, in, in retrospect, what they're really coming to do is bring about mayhem for the humankind, for those especially that are believers in Jesus Christ, those that believe and know that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, it will be tribulation beginning for them. And this is something that is about to unravel in the very near distant, or not so distant future, I should say. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live will update you more on these, these stories later this evening as I can sit down and take the time to break this information down. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.